low-income housing development in San Miguel vandalized last spring has been hit once again. Burglars broke open garage doors and stole tools and building materials. KSBY News reporter Molly Casey spoke with those in charge of the development. So Molly, what's being done? Well, Karina, these people self-help housing project homeowners are building on their own. 16 of them finished, eight of them still in progress, but now that timeline for moving in has been pushed back and their excitement tempered by vandals. There were five homes that were broken into by drilling through the windows or doors to open them. Project managers and homeowners at the People's Self-Help Housing in San Miguel are on high alert after vandals broke into partially finished homes along Tema Street Wednesday and Thursday nights. It just seems to be people looking for something of value to steal and frankly there isn't much here so I hope they'd go elsewhere. Thieves made off with a chop saw and air compressor from the site. But the costliest damage is the potential wait times homeowners may now face for new windows and doors. So if we have to wait for windows, it could be several weeks until we can get replacement parts. Cheryl Flores, vice president of home ownership, says last year thieves broke into storage sheds on site as well as partially built empty homes. One man was arrested but let go due to lack of evidence. A report was made again Thursday morning, but no arrests have been made. Flores says homeowners had been staying overnight in the unfinished homes to ward off vandals. With tight government funding for the program, security measures like cameras or foot patrols are not feasible. If we start increasing the budgets to include security at night, these added things, Many people are going to be priced out of affording the home, and that's not what we want. 59 other lots along the Salinas River have yet to begin building. And while Flores says they may fence off the area, there is concern vandals may enter from the riverbank. Flores told me eight families that have already moved in and the 16 others were still working on their homes. We'll meet tomorrow with the sheriff's office to discuss a neighborhood watch program. Live in studio, Molly Casey, KSBY News.